0. Well, guess what we have? We have human genome sciences. Again, we're getting more people coming out with more and more coverage. And what I'm going to do here is update everyone as to what other people have been thinking who have been following in the same footpath, per se, as what our belief at stockmarketfunding.com is. So I'm going to have Mr. Schubeck start off with the article right here and then talk about why it's great. What, okay. oh, can, you, can you hear me? Start over, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Well, again, we have a reiteration of what we've been saying all along. This one's Mianville. Uh, HGSI coverage. Experimental drug Benlista is going to get a thumbs up or down from the U.S. officials this week. At least one analyst says the odds are stacked heavily in the company's favor. And that investors should bet on an approval, he says, because the payoff includes a product worth the potential for almost six billion in peak sales. Wow. And this is what we've been seeing all along. We have analysts coming out and stating their position. Well, uh, now when you say this is what we've been seeing all along, hadn't stockmarketfunding.com before any of these people per se have been given their spill about it, were we not talking about this way back in the summer of 2010? Absolutely. So let's continue on. Uh, FDA is expected to decide on Benlista's approval this coming Thursday. And then we have some information. The shares of Gioni this morning rose 2% in morning trading to 26.12. The shares are up 4.5% over the past three months. Some analysts predict the stock will add at least $10 a share following an approval. Wow. That's up to thirty-five dollars. You mean because it's currently trading at twenty-five seventy-one by seventy-four. That's right. Uh, what are some of the highlights that they tell people not to do? Be betting, short. <laughs> what does betting wrong on the FDA mean? And what does this right. paragraph here mean? What is the power of this paragraph? This one. Well, it's just saying what the FDA does when it gives these drugs priority of view and fast track approval and, and what the track record is for uh, drugs like Benlista that meet unmet needs in the FDA and that why betting against them, the odds are against you. I see. Here's a uh, thing right here. There's a little delay, but these are the companies right here that have been approved. I've got a whole list of them right here of exactly what they're saying and so far you can see the percentage up here human genome select public companies okay what those antibody platforms look at the percentages here and higher rates of success uh, reduced concerns uh, manufacturing processes evolution from acute to chronic treatments Everything that and you can see some other uh, biotech companies that have gone through their things in the in, in the past as well. And so there is a lot of truth to what those analyses are and why there should be approval. Period. And the one that I can say that I like the most is simple fact that Ben Lista uh, annual sales of 3.3 billion in the U.S. and 5.9 billion worldwide by 2020. Some of this stuff here has been out for a while. Um, we do believe that this is very good news, and we do believe that betting wrong on the FDA. Okay, Becker found biological drugs were 2.5 times more likely to be approved than traditional. So, hey, that's comforting to know that they've done their job, that fast-track approval, the PSA, is that what they call it, Special Priority Review? So, yeah, mm -hmm. this is the update on human genome sciences. Do you have anything else to say? Other than Waiting it's for Thursday. Waiting for Thursday? How come you didn't want to talk about that 13 to 2 approval right there? That's one of the things that... Um, yeah, it has been mentioned, you know, in, in a previous article, the overwhelming approval that it uh, support that it got for approval. 
I, I would say that a 14 to Mario, 1 is it Wednesday or Thursday? Excuse is, me, ma'am. He's in the middle of talking. Is uh, overwhelming Sorry. results. Yes, Thursday. You know, that's, that's not that's not a question. That's overwhelming. That's overwhelming. Okay, wonderful. We'll conclude that update again, and that people once again are coming out on human genome sciences, lupus, drug treatment. People suffer too long with lupus. They need some kind of treatment care, and it's time that we get this company that can deliver that to that community of people in, around the world. Thank you once again.